Namaste friends and fellow foodies. I'm Vijay, a home chef and food blogger who believes that healthy food is tasty food. And on ID Made with Love, I show you my unique recipes that look good, taste good and do good. When I got married, I realized that my husband loved my mother-in-law's kurma. Now that I am a mother, I realized that more than the recipe, it was the love, the care and the affection that my mother-in-law poured into the dish when she was making it for her son. It takes a little time and preparation to get the vegetable korma just perfect. Lekin parotas, oto seconds mein thayar. Let's begin with the korma recipe. Step one, we need to make a magic paste. The magic paste consists of soaked badams, soaked cashews, soaked poppy seeds, soaked melon seeds, and deep fried onions. Let's grind this to a fine paste. Let's add a little bit of water to get this paste all together. Now a magic paste is ready. Let's transfer this magic paste into a bowl. It's time to add the masalas. Very basic masala, just haldi, some Kashmiri red chilli powder, Dhania powder and Jeera powder. Now give it all a good whisk. Now the super creamy magical paste is ready. Let's get started with the cooking. In a heated kadai, add some oil. Wait for the oil to be heated up. Then start adding our whole spices. Green cardamom, star anise, giant black cardamom, a cinnamon stick, a mace, some cloves, a bay leaf and let's give it a good mix. Now we add in the ginger garlic paste, some finely chopped green chilies, and let's add in the tomato paste. Make sure there is enough distance between you and the pan as you toss in this tomato paste. Let's cook this tomato paste. It's going to take us about 10 minutes to cook this tomato paste. Look at how all the water is gone from this paste and it's actually looking like a halwa at this point of time. This is the right time for us to add in the creamy paste. Let's give it a good mix. Add a little bit of water if you think it's too dry. Cook this masala paste for a couple of minutes and when it's well cooked, add some onion paste and let this paste cook for another couple of minutes. Now, let's add some boiled vegetables. Carrot, butter, baby corn, French beans, cauliflower, and give this a good mix. A little bit of water to adjust the consistency. Now, it's time to add in our tofu. Once you add in the tofu, be a little gentle with the tossing. Now it's time to add in our coconut milk. Isn't that pretty? Let's add in the salt, give it a quick mix and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. When you see the tiny bubbles in the kurma, it's time to add in the finishing touches. Just a teeny bit of garam masala and kasur methi. Let's give it a good stir, gentle stir though. Now the kurma is ready, let's set it aside and it's time to cook our ID Malabar Parota. ID is ready to cook Malabar Parotas are layered and made from an authentic Kerala recipe. They are so fresh, lagta nahi hai ki ghar mein nahi bana hai. Let's get a tawa heated up. Let's smear the tawa with a little bit of oil. And it's time to toss in our paratas. Just one minute on each side, fresh flaky parotas are ready. Now before we toss it, just a little bit of oil. Wow, isn't that perfect? Before we plate it, just one more step. Now we have to pamper this little fellow by puffing him all up. Now let's plate up this amazing flaky parata. Now that nice flaky parotas are ready, it's time to dish up our kurma. You don't want stains of the kurma spills all over your kitchen. Now, time to put some makeup on this kurma. 
a few fried cashews and a few sprigs of coriander leaves. Isn't that pretty? Our hot flaky ID Malabar Bharota with vegetable kurma is now ready. So when are you making this dish? Remember to invite me, okay? As long as it's made with love. This is Viji signing out. Don't forget to subscribe to ID Fresh Food on YouTube. Goodbye.